Hey, 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 what's up, good people? Shelby here. Thank you so much for coming to my channel. Today I'm gonna try something new. I am going to do this video live and in real time uh, and without making any edits. Uh, please excuse my itching contact. My goal is for this video to be 15 minutes tops. I shared a couple of recommendations with my uh, with my godmother whom I love, hey Cree, and uh, we were talking about all the steps that are in my normal videos which is that extra level of glam. Ooh, okay. That extra level of glam, you know, with the under eye highlight and the contouring, but not everybody wants that every day. Not everybody wants that at all. So today I'm going to just go in with what I described to her, which is essentially about five steps, actually maybe six, depending on whether or not you decide you want to um, do an inner corner highlight and... Uh, Actually, I'll just tell you what the optional steps are when we get there. Uh, of course, subscribe to my channel and let's hop in. I'm gonna start with brows. And I think this is the, not I think, this is the ColourPop Dark Brown Liner. And I think that one of the keys to brows not taking forever is they've gotta be done regularly and they have to be a shape you like. Otherwise, they can take up most of your routine. So we'll start here. Michelle. Brush up, brush up, lining the bottom, bringing out my arch. Yep. Fill in the head a little bit and the tail. Now line the top and bring the point down. Same on the other side. Filling in the head a bit. Trying to make them even. This is my struggle brow over here. that out, filling it in. Good, all right. Next, I'm gonna go in with my handy dandy brow gel. This is an optional step, but for me, because I have unruly brows, I'm gonna go ahead and gel them up. And this is with the NYX Neat Freak brow gel, great. I'm having a sisters, not twins kind of day, but I'm happy with it. All right, next I'm going to go in with um, my primer. And I've already moisturized. And I'm going to go in with the primer. And it's going to be the Milk Makeup Blur Stick. I dropped it. The Milk Makeup Blur Stick. Uh, this came in the Meet the Fam collection. This was recommended to me by... Anya Isabel. So thank you, Anya. She's a rock star. And I'd seen this in the store anyway, but it just was calling my name. So I thought I would go ahead and grab it. Okay. And uh, I also have liquid primers, of course. This blur stick is newer to me. I do really like it. Uh, I'm going to go in with a flat top kooky brush. I could use my hands, but I don't want to. And just uh, smooth this out. So that's in there. So 
One thing that I have to do that not everybody has to do is spot conceal. So I'm going to go in with the color Golden from Bobbi Brown and I'm just going to spot conceal some stuff uh, that I don't love. This is an optional step, but um, I feel like it helps out my my finished product so I don't feel like I walked out and I look sick. Let's see, where is my beauty blender? It's a damp beauty blender. Yeah. Let me buff them out in. It's my first time using that. I don't think I like it as much. I'm trying to cover this little break out here. I don't like it as much as my as my Mac. Um, Studio Fix or Studio Finish Concealer, but it'll do the job. Um, and today I'm going in with a um, Your Skin But Better kind of a foundation. So it's okay if it looks a little more natural. I mean, I'm not looking for full-blown dead-on beat, so that's okay. I'm going to go in with the Marc Jacobs Seamless Foundation in Tan Y480. I love the applicator on this because it means you can put it wherever you want it. Now the amount that you use is up to you. This is not a full coverage foundation, like I said. So it's not gonna cover everything. So just, you know, set your expectations and don't go ham. I do like that it has SPF in it though. So that's always nice. And I'm gonna go in with the, actually the seamless foundation brush. I got it in a uh, Sephora sale. Mm, I think it was like a weekly wow. And uh, I really like this brush in general, but especially with this foundation. I almost forget how much I love this foundation. One of the things that uh, my godmother said to me when we were talking about her foundation routine was that she wanted something that was good looking, um, but not that took away the natural glow. I might have too much foundation on my forehead. It's okay. I'll carry it down. Um, she, want, she, want, she wanted something that looked good and had good coverage and had oil control, but that didn't take away the natural glow of her skin. I think that's something that a lot of women, more mature women, are concerned about because they don't want um, they don't want their face to look dry or dull. I think one of the things that is a feature of quote unquote youthful skin is that uh, that it glows. So we'll of course try not to get rid of that. Let's see. I'm gonna go with my beauty blender and just buff out my edges and make sure. That everything's in my my lash line good. Not my lash line, my hairline. Real good. Right. And blended up under the lids, under the eyes, under the brows, all over. Yeah, good. Okay. So, and it's so weird for me not to see like highlight. Ooh, okay, but I do like the glow I'm getting. I like the finish on this foundation. I've always been a fan of this. So I'm going to go in with a powder. Uh, this is the powder that is uh, that comes with the Marc Jacobs. Not comes with, but is, um, that's what I'm looking for. Promoted with it. And it is this Invisible veil or it's called invisible or something like that uh as you can tell mine is new ish i actually bought it once and then returned it and then bought it again because i'm a crazy person i don't know it looks like this and i'm gonna go in oh my light is acting funny mm. give me one second i'm gonna adjust the light here better. It's a 
little better. This doesn't count against my time. Oh, there we go. Now you can see me. Okay, so uh, I'm gonna go with the e.l.f. brush and I'm going to set my foundation all over. Careful of the brows. Some on my lid. Okay. Great. I think we're up to what? Uh, it's about four steps minus the optional one. So I've got primer. Um, I've got foundation. I just powdered. Uh, now I'm going to go in with my highlighter. And I mean my top of cheek highlighter, not my under eye. Going in with, uh, I guess this is the Marc Jacobs kind of day, the Marc Jacobs Guilty Holiday Color. It's uh, looks like this and has an amazing giant mirror that I just love. Uh, I'm going to use, I'm going to use this fluffy brush. And I'm going to take this down the bridge of my nose. Actually, use my finger. Down the bridge of my nose. Ooh, that's pretty. Ooh, that's real pretty. Down the bridge of my nose, the tip of my nose, which is optional. If you don't want to turn on your nose, you don't have to, but I like it. I do, I like, I like the way it looks. And then I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna go on the tops of my cheeks and up here. The cheekbones are optional. You don't have to do that because I know some women have texture, especially. Oops, sorry. I swear I didn't do anything extra. I just went under my brow bone and uh, on the top of my cheek, just to cheekbone, just to control that or to continue that. And I'll do my Cupid's bow. I've got a little bit too much on my, in between my nose. <laughs> My lips, I'm just gonna matte that out. Okay, so that's there. And then the last two more things, and then that will be it. Um, actually, no, three more, because I'm gonna add mascara. Um, let's see, did I do my inner corner? I didn't. Uh, I'm gonna pick up one more brush. I've used, what, three so far? Let me see. Myself one of my smaller brushes. I'm gonna put this in my inner corner. I really like this highlighter, guys. It's, uh, I think it's limited edition, so just be mindful of that. You may not be able to get exactly this color, but there are enough of them out there that are like this, so yeah. Totally optional, but I feel like it adds a lot. All right, and then I'm gonna go in with a cream blush. And I recommended a cream blush um, because I think that cream blushes, they add some glow um, and they look more skin-like, which is nice. So just using a brush and just doing that. I'm gonna do this side with my, with my brush and I'm gonna do the other side with my hand. Okay, I'm gonna do this right there and just smooth it out. I know you're not required to smile, but I feel like the placement always looks better when you smile. <laughs> there we go. Ooh, nice and lifted. Your color choice is up to you. I like coral for folks that are in my skin range. You can go more pinky if you're lighter, or if you're darker, you could also go hot pink. You can also go kind of a cranberry kind of color. Um, let's see. All right. And then I'm going to spray my face and do mascara, and uh, that'll be it. And then, of course, you know, lips are, of course, your own option, but I like putting on lips, so. I'm gonna go in with the Morphe Setting Spray. Oh, sorry, and that was the 
Smashbox cream blush in the color to Smashbox LA Lights in Laurel Canyon Coral. <laughs> I love the names. Anyway, let me spray. So let's see, we did setting spray, one blush, two foundation, three highlight, four primer, five, and then did we do powder? No, oh, six. Okay, I'm going over. It's okay, it's okay. Some of those are really necessary. Actually, they're all really necessary. Lastly, I'm gonna go in with my mascara. This is the NARS Climax Mascara. Uh, actually, you know what, no, I recommended the Kush Mascara to her from Milk Makeup, so I'm gonna use that. I'm gonna stay true to this. Um, one thing that I love, if you have time, curl your lashes. Uh, if you don't, it's not the end of the world, but it, it does help. Okay, so I don't know if you can see the difference. This eye has mascara, that one doesn't, and I feel like you can definitely tell. And I'm aiming for one coat, oh shoot, maybe two, including the tips on the whole line because I don't want my mascara to flake. See, I missed some on the inside. Get that one on the inside. And you always wait for a mistake like that to dry, and, and then you try to get rid of it. Okay. And do my bottom lashes, and the key to that is always look down. I know it looks like I'm doing multiple coats, but I'm really just doing one section at a time. So that, this right here, is the inside. And that's the middle. <laughs> and then uh, this is gonna be the outside. And clearly, I will have to wait for that to dry. Um, okay, so officially, this would be it for your day. If you wanted to add in some lip gloss, you can. I think that I definitely will because I always do. I'm trying to see what I have here on the table with me that I would want to put on. I think I'll go with my dose of colors that I have right here. And, huh, I'm gonna have to go back and get rid of that smudge mark. Um, okay, so I'm going to take Dose of Colors in, I think this is my main from the Desi Times Katie collection. Okay, there we have it. I'm gonna take my hair down for my final look. Let's see. <laughs> Don't mind that mark. Let me see if it's time for that to come off. If it's dry, I can take it off. I think it is. Let's see. Legging right off. Awesome. Okay. Alrighty. Okay, so this is a very simple but very everyday wearable look. Um, I think it 
uh, I'm looking at it's seven minutes here minus the time that stopped in my intro. I think I think I probably hit about 15. So I'm happy with that. That was my goal. I had a few extra steps in there that um, I'm going to say I don't want to count. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. I hope that you like this look. I hope that my godmother finds this super helpful. Um, and I think one of the keys to this is the cream blush, a good mascara, and a makeup that matches your skin because you're not going to be able to um, modify or adjust it with any powders or any other colors. So you got to make sure you're spot on color wise, okay? Other than that, thank you so much for watching. Subscribe to my channel and have an awesome day. Bye now.